Hi everyone. Um, this video is going to be on how to reduce or simplify a fraction, which really means just getting a fraction like this, here's the numerator, here's the denominator, getting it down to two numbers that you can't divide them or make them any smaller anymore. So 2 over 8, when you look at that, can you think of a number that could divide 2 and also divide 8? It has to be the exact same number. Well, most of you will recognize that these are both even numbers. Whenever you see even numbers, you can always divide by 2. And it's always going to help you get on the right track. In this case, it will get us down to the, a reduced or simplified fraction. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 1 over 4 cannot be reduced any more. Okay? There's nothing that divides 1 and 4 to give us an even smaller two numbers on the top and bottom. So this is our answer right here. We have just reduced 2 over 8 to become 1 over 4. It is the smallest thing possible. These two are also called, and there's a video I did just before this, these are also equivalent fractions. They're actually the same thing. If you take a calculator and you go 2 divided by 8, on the calculator it will give you 0 0.25 or a quarter. And 1 divided by 4 is also going to give you a quarter. That's kind of one way to check with a calculator to see if two fractions are actually the same or equivalent. Okay? So sometimes you'll be asked to put a fraction in lowest terms. That's another expression that some math teachers use. Okay? Let's try a few more examples just so we get used to reducing fractions. Okay? In fact, some calculators will even let you find lowest terms just by pushing a special button on it. I don't think the Windows calculator um, has that option. I don't see it here anywhere. Um, but it is on some calculators and it really is, uh, you know what, I think it is on there somewhere but I, I'm not going to get into that right now. I'm supposed to show you the normal way of doing this. Okay, let's look at 12 and 20. Is there something that we could, we could divide the top and the bottom by to reduce it? Well, there is a number that would divide them both and get us right to the answer but if if you, if you notice that the top and bottom are both even numbers, dividing by 2 is a really good start. So what do we get? If we divide by 2, you get 6 over 10. The only problem is we are not done this question because this still could be divided further. The, the 6 and the 10 are both even numbers. Well, you can do this. Keep, keep going. Divide the top and the bottom by 2's and you're going to get 3 over 5. Now, these two numbers, there's nothing that you can divide 3 and 5 that will make these any smaller. Okay, you can't, you can't uh, divide them to make something smaller. We are done this example, and the answer is 3 over 5. If you are really quick and you notice that 12 and 20 can be divided by a larger number than 2, what do you think that number would be? It would get us right to the 3 and 5. For those of you that want to know, let's just quickly do it. I notice that 12 divided by 4 would give us 3, and remember you have to divide by the exact same number on the bottom. 20 divided by 4, the exact same number as we used here, would give us 5. And that also would give us a reduced fraction right there. Okay? But you can do it this way if you're not quite able to see this 4 right away. You can just keep going with whatever you got until you finally get it down to the lowest terms. Let's try another question. 25 over 30. Are these even numbers? Well, 30 is, but 25 isn't. So you can't just divide by 2 here. Can you think of something else that we could divide the top and the bottom by that would reduce this? Well, one thing you may already know that whenever you see a number that ends in a 5 or a 0, there's a good chance it's going to be divisible by 5. Okay? If you don't know that, um, you could do trial and error on your calculator and keep dividing until something works. But in this case, I'm just telling you, they're both going to divide by 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5, and 30 divided by 5 is 6. These numbers, there's not something that I can think of that can divide this and this to make them smaller. So this must be our answer in lowest terms. Okay? Here's another question. Reduce the fraction to lowest terms. Uh-oh. I get nervous when I see a question like this because 
The number 13. I can't think of anything that can divide 13. Can you? There's only one number that can divide 13. Well, there's actually two numbers. There's the number 13. That would work. But 16 doesn't divide by 13 nicely. So we can't do that. 13 could be divided by 1. And so could the 16. And that's great. But then the problem is you just end up with 13 over 16 again. So really what we're saying here is that 13 over 16 was already in lowest terms. There's nothing we could do to reduce this any further. Sometimes you'll get a strange question like that and it will surprise you, okay? So that's possible. Um, there's my happy face guy there. I think that's the last question on here. Just to give you a quick video on how you reduce fractions, okay? Have a good day.